There are times when we need to customize our own IPS and application signatures. The quick guide to creating your own signatures is coming up. Don't go anywhere. To get more easy setup tips for your 48 firewall, subscribe now and don't forget to click on the bell notification and you won't miss anything. When we speak of the intrusion prevention systems, we speak of an engine that compares traffic against signatures, signatures of known threats and anomalies. Now, whenever the IPS engine alerts us, it's in our responsibility to either block, monitor, or allow the traffic. Signatures allows us to identify malicious attacks. And the question that arises is, why do we need to create our own customized signatures? Fortinet has already provided us with thousands of signatures. There are two main reasons. The first one, sometimes we use a specific application, we use uh, our own set of tools or our own topology that is customized to our need and we need to create a customized signatures that will match. And the second reason is for threats that somehow doesn't have any signatures yet. So how do we create one? Let's head over to our IPS sensor page, signatures view, and then create new. The following signature is probably the most basic one. If you want more advanced signatures, please leave a comment in the comments page. Our first signature will allow us to block the CNN.com website. There are dozens of ways using our web filter application controls to do it, uh, but we are here to learn how we customize our own signature, and that's a good start. Now, Every signature starts with a header. The header for every signature starts with F, SBID, that's the header text, and then we open parentheses. In the parentheses within them, we enter the signature matching criteria. Criteria of that signatures are described using a keyword and a value and different keywords. If you're using a different keywords, you can use only one keyword and a value. You will divide different or separate different keywords using a semicolon. The first keyword is usually the name of the signature. We have to give our signature a clear description of the attack, and then we define the signature triggering. What makes it active in the attack? Which type of protocols are we looking into? The flow of packets, the amount of packet. We are looking for matches, matches in the traffic itself. We match based on specific headers, specific patterns, thresholds, as in rate-based engines, for that, we use keywords. Two types of keyword example is service and protocol. Now, in service, we determine, as in our case, the, the, that the service is HTTP since we wish to block a website. In protocols, we can specify if we will use TCP as most websites use or maybe we plan to block our site not only to users that go through TCP in their browser, but also users that may connect to that website using different protocols such as FTP. 
each keyword must start with a pair of dashes. Another keyword is flow, that is the flow of the traffic. Does it come from the server towards a client or from clients towards a server? Or maybe it is bidirectional. In our case, we wish to block any users for, that are clients from going to a web server that is the cnn.com web server. And there are many more parameters and patterns that we can add, but this is the basic syntax uh, that we use to customize our signature. So let's try one right now. Let's name our IPS signature. Let's add some comments. So we will start with the F hyphen S bid and we will open the parenthesis. Now let's choose a name for the custom signature and our name will be blockcnn.com. The next thing to do is to add a pattern. We will use a regular expression pattern that, that is cnn.com and now our 48 will detect the URL and as we add up the service which is HTTP it will know that it will only look up for that specific signature over HTTP protocol. Make note that we divide the different keywords with a semicolon. And now we will set up the protocol, which is actually the traffic type. 48 will only detect the signature in a TCP traffic. That is, if we will send a mail to that URL which runs over uh, SMTP or if we will connect to that URL over FTP, it will not do anything. It will only block the website over HTTP traffic. By default, patterns are case sensitive. So if we wish that uh, 48 will block uh, any any attempt to get into that URL using uppercase or lowercase, we will use the hyphen hyphen no underscore case. And now let's limit the scanning only to traffic that is sent from the client. We can also use bidirectional, but in our case, we will use the hyphen hyphen flow from client. And the last thing to do is to add up the hyphen hyphen context host, which makes the domain name to appear in the host field as it being resolved by the DNS. So that was our basic signature. Now, if you wish that we will create a more detailed, a more complicated signatures, just leave a comment in the comments page and I will do so.